I thought I would start this video with a little bit of an explanation. Uh, the end result isn't exactly what I was shooting for and was not my initial intent. Uh, originally, this was going to be a video on soldering tutorials, uh, tips, tricks, techniques, stuff like that. After getting into the editing process, this video was like way more than an hour long and I realized that you guys, you don't want to sit through that. So this is what I'm going to do instead. I'm going to show you a little bit of a footage of me repairing a VTX for a tiny whoop. So hopefully maybe you'll pick up a little bit from that. But otherwise, if you guys want to see some soldering tips and techniques, leave a comment down in the description. I think what I'm going to do moving forward is short, quick, little videos with different techniques when it comes to soldering. And I think that's going to be the best way to handle this moving forward. Uh, with that said, enjoy the disaster. We're going to fix this. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the old antenna. So while we're all zoomed in on here, hopefully make it easy for you to see. Again, the first thing I'm going to do is clean my tip. Before I put any new solder on here, before I touch the part, I'm cleaning the tip. Let's get the antenna off of there. I'm going to put a little fresh solder on the tip of my soldering iron. This time, I'm going to put a little bit on here. And the reason I'm going to is I'm going to use the new solder to remove the old solder. Sounds counterintuitive, right? Adding solder to remove solder. But trust me, this is going to make it a lot easier. So let's get a nice healthy little bead on the tip of our iron and because this is such a mess I'm just going to apply the solder to the whole thing and you saw how I just heated all this up and I literally just pushed that antenna right off pushed it right off I'm gonna clean my tip now there's not as much solder on it and I'm gonna use that cleaning of the tip to kind of scrape away anything that's left here but we're still not done cleaning yet better but look at how dull that is there's there's no flux left in there and you know it would work but that's not the best solder joint we can do we're not done cleaning yet nextly I'm gonna take my solder wick here you know we talked about this in the beginning and you know what can help while removing is to add a little bit of flux to your wick and I'm just gonna Get a little squirt in there, and that's going to be plenty for this. I'm going to take my iron. I'm going to try to hold everything down on the bench here. Push my iron into that wick, and I'm just going to scrub all of this. Okay. Nice and clean. You can see all the solder that I managed to pick up in my wick here. I'm going to cut that end off and have it fresh and ready to go for next time. But look at how nice and clean that pad is. We are totally ready to re-solder that antenna now. In order to get it soldered up, I'm going to want to tin and add a little bit of fresh solder to the signal pad. We'll start with that. Just get in there with the edge of your iron. Remember, put the flat part on the pad. And I'm just going to add a little bit of solder to that. I want a decent looking little bead on there. See how it's nice and round and it's shiny? That's exactly what we're after with this. And I'm going to add just a little bit to the edges of these pads. Not too much, we're gonna come back and add more later when we're ready to really attach the antenna. So as you see, I'm moving and I'm manipulating the part, making it as easy as I can to get in there with my soldering iron. Line this up any way you need to. There's essentially no right or wrong answer, you know, on how you need to position this in order to make your connection. So literally do what you gotta. Now, because of the difference in gauge in the wire here, I am going to solder the center pad first and make sure I have a good connection there. I'm going to clean my tip. I'm going to pick up a little bit of solder here from my roll. 
And I'm just going to get right in there with the tip of the iron on that pad. And just stick it right on. All right, so that's on there now. I'm just going to inspect it. After inspecting and having everything look good, we're ready to finish this up. We're going to introduce a little bit of solder and heat to the ground. Make sure that gap is bridged in between the antenna and the side of the pad. I want to do both sides with this to make sure it's adhered as good as it can be. There she is. Okay, look at the difference between the before and after. It's nice and solid, nothing's wobbling around, good connection. Uh, there's no danger of the signal connecting to the ground, that's bad. So we're done with this repair. Now we need to extend these wires because they are not going to reach the power connector when we do our build. So let's work on that. I'm actually going to start by removing about half of the wire here. Going to untwist these guys, and now we're going to strip these wires. I like to strip silicone wires with an X-Acto knife. Makes it pretty easy. Kind of just roll the insulation of that wire around the blade of the X-Acto knife, and as you can see, it comes off pretty easily. Do the extension wire. I know there's not a lot to work here. This is kind of just the nature of the fact that we're making a repair here. I'm going to twist my wires together. I'm going to do one at a time. Now that I'm happy with how my wires are twisted, I'm going to put a generous amount of solder in here. I'm going to apply the heat towards the bottom. Remember this is silicone wire, so it's going to be pretty resilient to the heat from the iron. Uh, but I want to make sure that I get it all the way down in between the two wires because of the way I'm making this connection. That one looks pretty good. Now I can cut off the excess. I'm going to cut it flush with the wire. Just give it a little tug to make sure it's soldered well. That one feels pretty good. Now I'm gonna repeat it on the ground wire. I've got a couple pieces of tiny heat shrink. I'm just gonna cut it to length. We're gonna slide it on the wires to seal our connection. Try to keep your connection in the middle of the heat shrink and use something like a butane torch uh, or a hot air gun to heat your heat shrink. Don't use a lighter. A lighter is not the right way to do this. It's a little bit of hot here. Heat shrink shrinks right up. Ground wire is good to go. I'm going to do the same thing on the positive now. Get this one wrapped up. That all looks pretty good and to kind of complete this, I'm going to retwist the wires to keep the installation nice and neat. That's about it. So now we have wires that are going to be long enough to make it to our power. Excellent. Fixed. So there's a few tips and techniques when it comes to soldering. Hopefully this video is going to help you be a little bit more successful when it comes to build time. Of course, as always, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave it down in the comments. I'll answer you back as best I can. But I think that's it. If you guys can, check out the best sponsor in the world, Hot Dog FPV at hotdogfpv.com. Those are my people. I love them to death, and they make some really awesome products. But it's time to go. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.